grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. And my prayer and my uh, hope for you today is that you are encountering the joy of the Lord uh, in the midst of your world today. God continues to shower us with his blessings and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. God is still good, he still loves us, and he's still present and active in our lives. And I hope you're experiencing that today. Uh, we're coming into the third uh, uh, weekend in the season of Advent uh, as we wind our way toward uh, the Christmas uh, holidays and the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm thinking today about Bethlehem. I played the, the old uh, uh, Phillips Brooks uh, tune, uh, O Little Town of Bethlehem, written in the middle of the, uh, the 19th century. A uh, beautiful uh, hymn that uh, uh, Bishop, uh, Phillips Brooks uh, wrote as he was uh, uh, an Anglican or an Episcopalian pastor in Boston. Uh, one of the most beloved of all the, uh, the Christmas songs. And I used to love it, uh, hearing the song when I was growing up, but it really came alive to me uh, when I first went to Bethlehem uh, in Israel uh, 20 years ago in the year 2000 uh, and could see for myself and touch with my own hands and see with my own eyes of the incredible story of that little town of Bethlehem. Uh, it was a caravan town, probably uh, could be as, as old as 5,000 years old. We know it was an Akkadian or a Canaanite uh, town uh, at least uh, 4,000 years ago and older than that because it shows up in some correspondence uh, between the, uh, the Egyptian governor uh, about the, the year 1400 or so BC, the Egyptian governor uh, in Bethlehem was writing to the Pharaoh to ask for military help uh, against uh, outsiders. And indeed, Bethlehem was always a city that was on the crossroads uh, of the, the Mideast. Uh, the, the, uh, the King's Highway uh, went through Bethlehem on the way to Jerusalem, a well-traveled route. Uh, it was uh, uh, enforced and built up and uh, uh, expanded when the Romans occupied uh, that territory 20 centuries ago. And uh, it's an ancient town with an ancient history, very important to us today because it was uh, the, the town where God chose to uh, enter his own creation uh, in a little tiny town uh, six miles south of Jerusalem not known for much except for shepherds uh, and uh, an economy that uh, has subsisted on, uh, for the most part, tourism. And it's been injured very greatly by uh, the, the warfares and the, the skirmishes and the, the occupied territories and uh, the disturbances uh, over the last hundred years or so. Uh, the population of Bethlehem today is about 25,000. Uh, at one point in the 1940s, 85 percent of them were Christian, um, and now today the Christian population of Bethlehem is down to about 15 percent. Uh, it's still a city that uh, exists uh, primarily because of tourism, and when tourism goes bad, Bethlehem is hurting. It's a small town. Uh, it has a, a fairly insignificant place uh, uh, politically in the world. It was the, the city where uh, King David was born, uh, and his father Jesse and his uh, siblings uh, grew up. Uh, it was a town that uh, uh, was known even back then for tourism, people making their way somewhere else. And uh, it's in that tiny place that God chose to come into his own creation. Uh, not in Jerusalem, not in Rome, not in Athens, not in any of the great cities of the world, but in little Bethlehem. And when God chose to come into his creation, it's so important to remember that uh, Mary and Joseph, when they got to Bethlehem, had come down from Nazareth about five days away, uh, riding on a donkey when Mary was nine months pregnant. And they were following the, the orders of the Roman uh, uh, emperor to go be uh, uh, enrolled for taxation purposes in your ancestral hometown. 
And so that's where Mary and Joseph went, basically to pay their taxes. And so when Jesus was born 20 centuries ago, Mary and Joseph were displaced from their home uh, in, a, in a country that was occupied by a foreign power. And God came into the world as the most helpless of all creatures, a, a tiny newborn human baby. Uh, God came among us and walked among us starting as a little child. We can never say that God doesn't understand what we're going through. He came as the least among us, a refugee, uh, an immigrant as it were, and as a tiny baby. We can never say that he doesn't understand what we're going through because he chose to come into this creation and go through it with us. And uh, as I think of this wonderful song of the little town of Bethlehem uh, and its long history, uh, we remember that that's, that's the entry point where God chose to make his appearance among us. And uh, of course, he's with us always to the very end of the age. Uh, and he gives us his word and seals it with his death and with his resurrection. And so there is hope in the world. Uh, God works miracles in lives every day. Uh, and some people, when they get up in the morning and get dressed and go about their tasks, they are performing a miracle because what many people are overcoming in their lives is only through the grace of God. So please know that he's with you right where you are uh, going into this weekend. Include him in your life, in your prayers, in your thoughts, and know that he loves you and cares deeply for you. As we make our way this time of year spiritually toward that little town of Bethlehem, uh, where Christ our Savior was born. Have a blessed day today, and God willing, I will see you right here again tomorrow. God bless you.